All right, what's going on guys? Just launched out here at a pretty familiar lake. If you've watched my last video, again, we're gonna be looking for some larger trout. We've been dealing with some colder weather pretty much for the last two weeks, really windy. Uh, this is the first day where it's, it's still very cold but we don't have as much wind, still a slight breeze. Um, so that's working in our favor. This is a very clear lake. So it can be difficult to, to fish on those bluebird sky days, but today is kind of overcast with a slight breeze. So we're gonna see if we can get on them. Starting off with this large rooster tail, the chartreuse beads gold uh, blade on it little black and red feather tail it's been the hot ticket uh, at this lake so we're gonna see how we can do on it been seeing some fish come to the surface but we should know pretty quickly whether or not the bites on all right we're gonna follow the same strategy that we've been doing here. Do some casting, but uh, troll around at the beginning, try and find these fish, see where they're hanging out. And if we find a school of them, we'll stop and take some casts. So right now we're trolling about right four feet of water. Um, drops down a little out in front of me to about 10 feet. And so, once we make our turn uh, and our pass back, we should be in a little bit of deeper water. That's where I expect to find these fish today. But we'll see if they're on that same pattern that they've been on. So when I was moving up, I just saw a huge fish surface right over here in these shallows. And so, pushed over to this fire tiger right here. Let's see if we can catch whatever this fish was. Yep. Oh. We were... Oh. I think we were on for a split second. But I also think we're stuck. There's a huge fish right here. I can see my lure. Let's see if I can just knock it free quietly. Okay, we got it. Activity. So we're gonna switch that out for something a tiny bit smaller, maybe a little swim bait. Hey guys, I just tied on this little swim bait with a chartreuse. I believe this is like an eighth of an ounce uh, jig head. It's a little more finesse than those larger uh, rooster tails and blades baits I was using should help me control the depth of the bait a little better. Um, and we're just gonna slowly work it through this area over here. See if we can get on some fish. I, mean, I like the spot I'm in right now. make my way into some shallower water since that's where 
I've seen the most action thus far. Been a little bit of sun now. Good for my hands. Oh, oh, we're hooked up. And it's a giant. Oh my god. It's a giant. Guys, guys, it's a monster. One of the biggest fish of my life. It's huge. Oh my god. Okay. Okay, guys. A ginormous fish. That's a huge, huge brown trout. Okay. I'm gonna try and get him. I have such a small net here. Okay. Oh man, I don't want to get this line into his into its mouth. Oh. Okay. So close. I just don't want to pull the. Oh my god, it doesn't even, it doesn't even fit in the net. Okay. We're gonna have to grab him by hand. Okay. We're gonna have to grab him by hand. Pretty big fit. Oh, he's got the line in his mouth. Okay, guys, we got him. Yes. Oh my god. That's a monster, man. Okay. No way. Look at this fish, man. Okay, just want to make sure. I'm not getting his gills. Holy crap, guys. Look at the size of this fish. Nice. Oh, such a beautiful fish. I'm going to try and get some measurements on him. Oh, man. That's a nice fish. I'm shaking right now. Let's see how big this puppy is. Vive him. I don't want him to hurt, him, to hurt himself. It's always tough to deal with these bigger fish when... Oh man, look at that. Such a beautiful fish. Oh, and I really don't want to get bit by him, but... I don't want to release him because he will probably just sink to the bottom. Okay, guys. I gotta take a look at this guy. Oh man, that's a big fish. That is a big trout. Okay, got his head in the water. Trying to revive him. I think he's gonna be all right. He's already starting to kick a little bit. About to send this beautiful fish on his way. There he goes. Oh, nice. Swimming off, nice and strong. Oh, what a fish. That fish swam off nice and strong. Should be perfectly healthy. Um, you know, my kayak deck is wet. I laid him down on it, measured him quickly. He measured to about 26, 27 inches, which is my new PB. My old one was 25 inches. Um, 
honestly, I think he may have been a little longer than that, but my kayak deck has a little bit of a, you know, an elevation here at the end. And so his tail was up on that. So, you know, maybe 27 and a half inches, uh, but either way, I'm super stoked. Um, that's the, probably the third time I broke my P PV brown trout. We got our PV today. It's the only bite we had all day. We had one big follow shortly after that, but it seems like these fish are few and far between. Um, wind's starting to pick up. It's starting to get a little bit colder, so I want to call it a day. Uh, I appreciate you guys checking in, and we'll see you next time.